Hello and welcome back everyone. So in this video we will be learning uh, and solving about contains duplicate lead code 217 problem. So this problem states that we are given an array of integers and we need to find out whether the array contains any duplicate number. So here in this array we can see that one appears two times so the answer is true. Here we can see that all the numbers are unique so the answer is false and here we can see that ones are appearing multiple times so the answer becomes true and since there are multiple duplicates that doesn't really matter to us all that really matters is that even there is one duplicate number present we will return true. So we can solve this using a simple hash map. Um, so going traversing the array, traversing through the array, we will store all the numbers inside a hash map. So we will traverse one, we store one inside the hash map, we store two, we store three, and then when we encounter one, we always check whether the number is already present inside a hash map. So we will check that one is already present inside a hash map, then we will just straight away return to. Similarly, if we come here, we'll see is one present inside a hash map. No, the one is not present inside a hash map yet. Inside a hash map yet. So we will store it inside a hash map. Then we'll go to the second element. We'll check is one already present inside a hash map. Then we'll see that yes, one is already present inside a hash map. Then we'll just straight away return true, and there is no need for us to follow or traverse all the other elements inside the array. So let's code this approach up. So we'll create a hash map. Uh, so in Go, you can create hash map using map and make, uh, make and map, and uh, we'll declare it a key value pair of int and int, right? And then we will just traverse the array. So we all we need are the values inside the array. We don't need the index since we are going to store the values inside our hash map, right? So range nums. Then we will check if our value is already present inside our hash map if if our value is already present inside our hash map that means is found is true then we we'll just straight away return true else we are going to store the element inside our hash map we'll give it value one and when we are done traversing the array and we did not encounter return true that means there are no duplicate elements inside our array so we just return false here now let's run this up and see if it works and it does now let's submit it and so it works and we can see it is pretty efficient thank you so much and we will see you in next one